everyone, Star here from Dyer's Den, and here we are at Table Favour Week. Now, I'm not sure which day of the week this will be, but these will go from a Monday to through to a Friday. And this is the first, well, one of the projects. This is the first one I'm doing, but you might, I don't know what order I'll put them in when I do them. So this is the project that we're doing today. It's a lovely little Table Favour. And it will hold two Ferrero Rocher Fred, ah, Ferrero Rocher chocolates. Or, if you wanted to make it as a gift, it will hold five tea lights, like so. Just a real pretty little project, very quick and easy. But we're doing it as a table favour, so we're actually going to do it for Ferrero Rochers. This measures, let's see. Three and just under three and a quarter inches, about three and a quarter inches by one and a half inches. And one and a half inches that way. So it's a really quick and easy project, and I'm using retired products again because this is a great way to use up all your odds and ends. So let me show you what you what I'm using. I'm just going to be using this stamp set called Cherish the Season just for this Merry Christmas here because I'm going to be doing them. So we, you will need a piece of card for your box that measures seven inches by six and a quarter. And then you will need two pieces of designer series paper that measure three inches by one and a quarter. And one piece that measures three quarters of an inch by three inches. And two pieces that measure three quarters of an inch by one and a quarter inches. And then I have my strip here for my um, Merry Christmas on the top which measures two and three quarter inches by one inch so what I'm going to do with this piece is I'm actually going to just round the corners right now because I just want to, to have rounded corners so I've rounded my corners right this very minute because I just want them rounded and that's all there is to it. It's not like they have to be rounded or anything like that. So we're going to start with this piece here, which is our main box piece. And we're going to pop it into... Where is my... Would you believe my tool is on the floor again? There we go. <coughs> so we're going to pop this in on the long side, which is the 7 inch side. Okay, and we're going to score this using the small end at one and a half. Three, four and a half, and six. Now we're going to turn it onto the small side, which is the six and a quarter inch side, and we're going to score this at one and a half, one and a half, and we'll go to the quarters, and four and three quarters. And that's all the scoring we're going to do. Now, I'm going to pull this out and do a little bit of cutting. Okay, so first of all, we're going to cut up this side, making sure that we have our short edge because there's like three pieces of the same, and then we have a shorter piece, which is the, the top, this front piece of the box. So, making sure that piece is on your right hand side, we are now going to cut up the first one notch it and cut a piece off. We're going to do that, cut up the next one and we're going to notch the third one along from the left. A little bit off. Move that one out of the way. This one I'm actually going to just cut up again because I don't want that score line on there. So I'm just making sure that score line. With the next one, we're going to cut up the next one, and we're going to just notch that in, just like so. We're not cutting this one off. So now we're going to turn it around, and we're going to do exactly the same again. 
So we're going to cut up the first one and notch it in. I don't know where that bit went. Let's just, oh there it is, it's on my scissors. I'm just going to reach up that bit so that I've got the score line off. Chop up the next one. Wedge in the next bit. Top up the next one and wedge it in and trim this one down a little bit. And then do the same again. And chop in a little bit off that end there. Okay, so our piece looks like this now. And it looks a bit strange, I know, because the lid and the box are all in one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fold and burnish all of these score lines, making sure, because we didn't cut the top bit off there, that we get that nice and flush along this edge here. Again, right the way along. Making sure that the ones that are square on are oh, just that square on. And this last one also making sure that it does come up to the top. Now I found it easier to put the paper, the, the, the design series paper on after I've put the box together, mainly because of the way it goes together. So what we need to do is we need to move... Oh, I didn't score these. This I did score those. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, no, I didn't fold them, did I? Did I fold them? No, I didn't fold them. That was a bit dumb, wasn't it? Oh, did I? I don't remember. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to move these ones out of the way and we're going to bring these two over and they're going to join together down the side like so and that one's going to go over the top like that. So the best way to do that is to put a bit of glue on these two back ones, that's the middle section painters. On the outside of them. And bring this one over, and this might be a bit hard on camera, bring this one over so that it is nice and flush along the bottom and up the sides. So, you have a box shape like so. Okay, so they're on the inside like that. And then nice and flush. Now we're going to do exactly the same again. So we're going to pop some glue on the outside of these again. And bring that one, let's move that top bit out of the way. Bring this in and flush along this edge here. And that's one of the same. So you get that box shape. So there's your bottom of your box. So I'm just going to use my bone folder just to make sure that they are nice and firmly down there. And once we've done that, we can start on the lid. And the, for the lid, we're just going to do exactly the same as before. We're going to bring them in and bring them down like so. Now don't worry that they're going to be out of the bottom here. We're going to trim that. That is not wrong. So we're going to put some glue on the outside of that one and bring that back edge along there and along this side here. If I can get it in there. <laughs> there we go. Nice and flush along that edge. And the same on this one here. I'm going to bring that one down and along flush along that top edge there. So that they're nice and flush along this edge, this top edge. Okay. Once we've done that, we're now going to bring in our scissors. I'm just going to pop my pin in my glue because it's a warm day today again. And I'm going to bring in my scissors and we are going to cut this section here away. Nice and flush along that top bit. And down there, if there's any overhang. 
so like this one there's a bit of overhang so I'm going to bring that piece away and turn it to the inside so you can see it and cut along that edge there so that is our box these pits go over the top of that and it fits down snugly over round like that and it looks so neat and tidy now so that is our box bits we're now going to do our bit of pieces so we're going to pop our pieces on the smallest piece which is three inches by uh, three quarters of an inch let's take the pin out of the glue again um, I don't know which side I want. Do I want that side or one on that side? Which side should we have? I think we're going to have that side. So, this small piece, which is three inches by three quarters of an inch, then goes on the front flap of the box. And our other pieces that are three quarters of an inch by one and a quarter inches go on the sides of the box. Oops, come back. Then other two pieces, which are exactly the same size, go one there and one there. So let's pop them on. And one on the back. Oops, I've got the wrong side. making sure if you have a pattern that needs to be the right direction that you, you cut it and put it on the right direction. So I'm just going to smooth these all over with my bone folder just to make sure they're nice and neat. And there you go. That's our box. So now we're going to bring in our stamp that says Merry Christmas. Now I know that you could do these for all sorts of reasons. You know, happy 18th if you've got a, you know, 18th birthday or 21st. Um, you could do them for just about any reason, thing that you want to do if you want to put a few table favours out. Okie dokie. So I think that's enough for those on there. Because they're only going to get thrown away so you don't want to overdo those. This goes on the top like so. How gorgeous does that look? Let's put a couple of gems on here just to finish it off. It is, after all, Christmas. I'll put a small one on the top. And I think that's all I'm going to put on it. Just that one small one on the top there. So, as I say, this will hold. I've got a whole box full of these, so I think I'll be making some of these for Christmas Day at my house, well not at my house, it's at my brother's place for Christmas, but I think I'll be making these to go on the table, as I think they're just a gorgeous little idea, or if you want to do it for a present for somebody, maybe workmates, you could put the Ferrero Show shoes in there, or you could put the can tea light candles in there, that's a bit heavier than this one, but don't they look just absolutely gorgeous? Very quick and easy, and that's one of our table favours for the t this year, 2022. There will be five in all. As I say, I'm not sure in what order these will go. This will probably be the first, as I've said about it, being the, the first one that I've done. But, yes, I, I think it's a great idea, and you will find the written tutorial for this on my Facebook group called Die Stamp for Stamping, Crafting and Tutorials. You will also find that it's dated the same day as the YouTube video. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this one. If, and then you will find the links down below for everything. Um, if you would like, as I say, the written show, if you, if you like what I do, 
please subscribe I love to see how many people I can get it's great I'm, I'm up over 1100 now and I would really love to see it get up to you know but by about 5,000 by this time next year would be absolutely fantastic but if you need leave me a thumbs up leave me a comment I'm happy to hear from you bye for now